that though. Um, you know, I think, uh, it, like you said, I'm I was the same way with formula racing. Like Chris, my Chris, and my other brother Anthony are like really like they know like. I'd say more about it than the average folk. And it wanted to spark my interest. And one of the things I started doing with the show is like reaching out to formula racers, trying to get more and more. So I'm it's the same with you, Bug. I'm trying to talk to more and more racers just because I'm like want to know so much about it. Even the one I've had so far, it's kind of like, holy shit, like this is intense. Like this is another level of like racing. Yeah. Or, you know, it's like holy crap. Um, but no, yeah. Um, and on top of like being away from the course, things of that nature, um, you know, are there anything and again one of the point of our show is to love to just on top of learning about your background and where you come from in the sport of golf, but you know, things that are important to you interests, you know, you mentioned your family or, you know, things that, you know, happen outside of the world of golf. Are there any things that are like, you know, charities you're part with anything like that? Um, any interest or topics in that aspect that you maybe want to bring to light or things that you wish more people knew more about? Um, yeah, I mean, I, you speak to the charitable, um, uh, you know, I, I, I've been starting to get involved with this, uh, initiative called play yellow, which, um, is, is, a, is a way for, uh, us to use golf as a vehicle to maybe give back to, um, some, some kids that are, um, you know, sick or hospitalized and to help them, you know, raise some money for them. Um, I know that through the Memorial tournament where I'm from in Columbus, um, you know, we all wear yellow ribbons uh, cool. throughout the week, and we're encouraged to wear yellow on Sunday um, during the tournament. And um, I kind of, uh, you know, I got involved with that, and it, it actually was really cool for for you know the first time in the last couple of years. You know, I kind of did this thing where I would make a donation for each birdie or or eagle I made. Um, That's cool in the, in the, uh, in the memorial and, and some other events as well. And, um, you know, kind of puts it in perspective sometimes when you're ticked off after making bogey bogey. Um, and you know, you, you go make a birdie and you're like, Hey, you know what? That might've helped in, in, in a little way. Yeah. It might have helped a kid who, you know, could only dream of playing in, in the right, right, right. you know, and it's like, we're out here complaining about you know something and i'm like yeah. if it, it actually felt pretty good um so play yellow is a is a cool cool thing to check out um really the nicholas's cool. are involved it's, it's through the nicholas healthcare foundation um so it's um it's cool and 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 you know he, he used to wear yellow on sundays jack did um so that's kind of where the idea came from and um yeah look out for him on in, in the memorial tournament next year when you see the guy, just about every player have a yellow ribbon on their hat. So it's, it's that's cool. awesome. That's yeah. cool. Man. That's what's up. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That is really cool. And um, before we get into, I have some, after this question, I have some cute, like some other questions that popped up while we were talking. But again, I've asked this question to NFL pro bowlers. I've asked this question to soccer players. I've asked it to literally everyone. And I'm dying to know what your response is. So uh, I like to preface it. Have you ever seen the movie Step Brothers with like Will yeah. Ferrell? And, yeah, yeah. So you know that scene where they're on like the playground and like they just get bombarded with children, like fifth graders. In that kind of situation, how many fifth graders do you think you could take on before they overpower you? Like, is it you know? <laughs> I've heard some crazy answers, and I I'll give mine and Chris. I'm coming to you next, but like, you know, for instance, like Wayne Harris was like, "I'll apologize to the parents later," but I'm I'm going after them kids. Like, you know, I, you know, you get some wide responses, but uh, I'd love to know what you think. Man, um, I'd have to like <laughs> try to talk them out of it first, you know, sure. Even my words. <laughs> sure. sure, I get that. But, um, man, what a weird, it's weird. Are built I don't know how too, to man. even think about it. I don't know, man. I, <laughs> I'd like to say that our, us, you know, tour players are, are pretty, pretty strong and buff, but, you know, it doesn't take much. I mean, get some withdrawals with guys having a, you know, fingernail issue or something like that. So I don't want to set, set ourselves up to be some something we're not but um yeah i don't know maybe a handful of handful of kids i think i'd be tapping out pretty soon just to, i'd probably be worried about you know getting injured and uh, missing a next right. chunk of tournaments or something so i'd probably you know bow down pretty pretty quickly i get that fifth, like i said fifth graders are built now like my wife's a t my wife's a teacher and like Fifth graders now come in at like five foot or like or like you know five foot three, five foot four at like a buck fifty, and it's like, what are you, what are you feeding these kids? They're just built now. Chris, how many do you think you got? 
I don't know, man. They can be feisty. You know, even watching like the Little League World Series, like that's that fourth, fifth grade realm. Those those kids are huge. Dude, and I'm not a very dude. big dude myself. So I you know, maybe a handful tops, but like Bo said, I don't I don't want to hurt myself, you know. Right, right, right. You know? I've got a I've got a funny uh now that you mentioned the stepbrother scene, I got a funny story about Will Farrell um that I'll tell tell real quick. Um my wife and I were out at Pebble Beach playing the the uh the event out there that we have every year. And, um, you know, we, we make a dinner reservation at a, at a place, you know, called the tap room it's right there on Pebble on, on 18 and, you know, sitting down, just kind of, it's Pebble beach the place is amazing. Just enjoying dinner. And, right. um, like 30 minutes into the dinner, my, my wife, uh, she looks at me, she goes, but you're not going to believe this. I'm like, what? She's like, that's Will Ferrell sitting behind you right now. I'm like, what? <laughs> You talking about like i never saw anybody like remotely look like will ferrell walking in here but i couldn't like he was like right behind i, I mean the only way i had to look right at him one of those <laughs> situations and so you know i eventually got up you know to go to the bathroom or something i'm like you know there's not many guys on 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 this planet that i i truly need to see or maybe even try to get a, a selfie yeah. with you know will ferrell is one of those guys for real so long story short we we fortunately we're like eating at the same time like we're getting appetizers at the same time we're getting you know i'm like this might work out we're gonna walk out of here like same time we're gonna ask this guy if he can get a picture <laughs> of us <laughs> and so sure enough we're walking out of the joint and uh we're like hey we hate to ask you this but you know is there any chance we could you know get a a picture with you yeah. and you know i have no idea how he's gonna react so he's like yeah yeah that's fine and so we, we we get lined up. No, no, <laughs> Bo. No, oh, we're gonna need it, Bo. Honestly, couldn't have been a better time for it to lag out because, like that, like, like this. There seemed like there was a huge climax coming to that. Hanging, and, dude. We're just hanging. I know. We're all like, uh, and everyone. I can't wait for everyone to be listening to this podcast to be like, what? What happened, Bo? <laughs> but like, it's good. All right, guys. Again, it happened. It's no worries. He'll be coming back. He's he's been good about that. Um, it's it's no worries. I'm very curious, Chris. I was thinking about. I want to ask him who like in the pro if he's ever played anyone like in a pro am like yeah. like who is cool someone he's played with in a pro am. And then uh, another yeah. thing I want to ask him is like, um, um. Shit, I had it, but I'll come back to it. I'll, I'll think of it. But yeah, I wanted to. I want to know who's playing the pro. That was all oh, the cliffhanger. Like, all right, oh, you, you left us on a cliffhanger. Right on the cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyways, you guys, I up. get back into this. Yeah, this woman who was also at the restaurant comes over to while we're kind of getting set up for the selfie, and she goes, "Will, I'm your number one fan. I, you got to get a picture of me. I'm, I'm your number one fan in the world." And Chris and my wife and I were like, "We're not really sure." What what this guy's going to say back to her or if he's right. just going to pull her off in a total will ferrell fashion he goes how could how could you be my number one fan she just told me she was my number one fan like in total <laughs> the same character in the movie and everything we were just there i mean like wow it's, it's incredible i mean it's the same guy that you see in the movies yeah yeah uh, yeah. he's just a cool, dude. i also like how in that story like in the middle of your dinner too, you're just like analyzing. He's like, "Hey, this is gonna work out." Like, um, like in the middle of on top of you're like, "Hey, we got app at the same time. Dinner's coming. Let's let me make sure I write the check at the same time he write." Like, yeah, that part of it. That's yeah. awesome. Holy shit. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, and then with that too, I I was telling Chris like one of the last things I want to ask. Speaking of like programs and like you know those kind of select. Have you ever played in like a celebrity tournament or something like that? And paired with like you know someone cool or like ever like played with someone you're like, oh, that was like kind of a pleasure to play with. Um, and then. Uh, I have a quick one after that too, but I'm curious to know if you've ever played with, you know, a celebrity or someone like that. And you're like, Hey, it's not bad. Yeah. I mean, you play with some, yeah, in these, in these program tournaments, like, especially like the Pebble beach program, it's such a cool tournament and they've really kept that thing going for a number of decades where they bring in a great, um, you yeah. know, mesh of bringing people in the play golf once a year that kind of gets to you know, rub shoulders with for a few days and, um so you know i've played with some some cool guys at that i played with the the owner of the boston bruins uh my rookie year on tour just kind of randomly i didn't even that's you cool know, know, yeah jerry jacobs and um so it was cool to kind of talk a little hockey while we we're out there um 
And then, um, man, there's just so many. I mean, I can't even think of, you know, the rest of the players that play in that. But every year there's always, you know, someone there. But um, as far as your question with playing somebody who uh, I would consider famous, I guess, would uh, would be Michael Jordan. You know, I play, he plays every day. It's it's really amazing. He plays 36 holes a day every day. Respect. And uh, I got to play with him one time down here in Florida. And over at his track, over at the Grove? So – it was uh i have played the grove and it's awesome but um, the day that we played it was actually flooded because there's oh. like a couple canals that kind of run on the sides of the course there so um, we played over at bearish club he actually lives lives on bearish club okay. um so we played out there and um it was kind of a wild day but uh, yeah it was a I was gonna say, it, was, it was a lot of you- fun well, I I can't imagine there wasn't any gambling going on in that game. There's a couple a couple <laughs> of kids putting down on that for sure. Can't imagine there wasn't a little bit or like that competitive nature. Um, Chris, what was the course your dad or, or like the one you were affiliated with? Down because like t- doesn't Charlie play there? Banyan in uh Banyan K in West Palm. Yeah, I've played Banyan K. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah my, my dad was the general manager there, trying oh, to get wow. the well up and running and stuff. But I've been down there a few times. It's a, uh-huh. I've enjoyed playing that course. But he was telling me, I guess this past year they had the Monday qualifier at uh, for the Honda Classic. Yeah, there. that was cool. They do have the Monday there now. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, I was curious. I want to see if Bo had played there before. And then last last question before we let you go. You've been an awesome guest. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Is there any, like, I won't make you say the bad ones, but are there any, like, players that, like, you really love playing with on the tour, like, whether it's a play quick or, like, they're just fun to play with? Like, I've heard, like, Varner's fun to play with. Are there any you're like, man, I love playing with this guy? Um, Yeah, that's a great question. Um, There's always that one guy, you know, you finish your round. Let's say you're playing well one week and you finish your round on Saturday and, you know, Sunday's, you know, the final day that's your big day you get your text that night kind of when you're at dinner at what t- what time you're playing and who you're playing with and you're always kind of like got this preconceived notion that hey i want this i want to have a pretty good pairing tomorrow i don't want to play with right some so i've always said a, a great guy to play with is brant snedeker um because he okay. plays very fast yeah. and he like roots for you the entire round you know he's like your ball might need to go it's in the air and you both know that it needs to go you know go to cover this trap right and he might he might you know he'll give it oh come on just cover that trap go go like he'll root it along with you <laughs> so i mean i've played with him a couple times and there's a number of great great guys to play with but the combination of the speed that he plays with and yeah. his cheerfulness i'm, I'm gonna go with, with sneds that's pretty cool. That's pretty yep. cool. I was gonna yeah. say, I feel like, you know, and it's it, like, is he just a nice guy, or does he do that for the competitive players? He's like, why the fuck is this guy cheering for me right now? We're playing <laughs> against each other. <laughs> he's a super nice guy, you know. Okay. Uh, and yeah, he's been out there, obviously a long time. had a Had a great career. He's won a FedEx Cup, and yeah. uh, nice, nice that you know some of those some of those veterans they don't they don't have to. Right to uh, take rookies or younger players, you know, and and kind of welcome them a little bit. Um, right. But he and and another guy that sticks out to me is Lucas Glover. I remember mm-hmm. the first tournament that I got, the first tournament that I played on tour when I got received my card as a member. Um, you know, Lucas came over to me on the putting green at the Greenbrier, and just said, "Hey, you know what? I know uh, it's not not easy to get out here and." Um, I just want to congratulate you on on achieving that and wish you all the best in your career out here and hope you're out here a long time. Something like that, you know, takes 10 seconds, 15 seconds right. of your time. And um, it just really went a long way for me. Yeah. A lot of, you know, don't wouldn't wouldn't care to do that, but which is fine. But, um, right. you know, I think it goes a long way. That's yeah, pretty man. cool. Yeah, nice guy, Glover. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, well, again, I that wraps me up, Chris, before we let Bo go, because I know he's got, you know, 30. He, let's give him some time before he's got to get going. But, Chris, do you have anything for him? I don't, man. That was awesome. That was very cool. And obviously, we appreciate you taking the time out of your day to, to yeah. talk to us. That was, that was neat yeah, to yeah. get inside, you know, yeah. inside Thank you. and everything. Thanks for, for having sure. me on. I really enjoyed it. Easily, yeah, and we'll be. Uh, I'm sure over the you know over the next year we'll we'll get out to a couple a couple of events. If you hear us chirping for you, you know we'll we'll be rooting for you, my man. Love always it. a fan. Yeah. Always a fan for the for the pod. Now that you've been on, you're a friend of the pod. So uh, we wish you the best, and uh, thanks for coming on. All right, thanks, cool. Joe. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Good luck. Right.
Have a good one. Appreciate it. Well, See you. See you.